What's up? So what does um, self-check mean? Basically, self-check is um, it's pretty simple. Just observing what you have and checking yourself, like uh, evaluating oneself or one's performance, behavior, or attitude. Uh, it determines whether they meet a certain standard of expectation. Self-checking can be a way of monitoring progress, identity areas of improvement. So ensures that your actions align, um, align with your goals. It could also promote self-awareness, reflection, and may be useful in setting such educational, personal development. So example of self-checking, it includes self-assessment, self-evaluation, and self-reflection. So let's say if you're working nine to five for five days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you're working eight hour shifts and then, you know, you have your burnout, let's say Wednesday and Thursday and Friday are just burnt out. Um, so you, then you start having like a, well, you start self-checking yourself, you know, you start seeing where you mess up and uh, how you can improve or how, what you have to avoid for stuff like that. So again, self-check refers to the process of uh, assessing one's performance, behavior, or attitude in order to determine if they meet a particular standard or expectation. So let's say in the scenario, let's say you're a student, for example, who wants to improve their grades in a particular subject, you m might set a goal for yourself to achieve that certain goal. And... Uh, you know, um, so that certain goal to achieve, uh, and uh, so to monitor your progress and ensure that you are on track to meet your goal, you should engage uh, in self checking. So, this might involve uh, reviewing your assignments, tests, and quizzes to identify areas where you're doing well and areas where you need to improve. You could also reflect this on your study habits and time management um, to see if there are any adjustments to make it better for your goals. By engaging in self-checking, you can monitor your progress, adjust your approach as needed, and increase the chances of achieving a desirable outcome. So the pros, uh, I think, for self-checking is that you determine what's wrong, where you're messing up, and how you can improve, and then um it's like the like you know before it's kind of a little too late you know so that's what self-check is you have a goal you're not there so you're self-assessing yourself why you're not there and that's how it works like um So, like I, like I said, some pros and cons are like promoting self-awareness, checking individuals become more aware of their own performance, behavior, and attitude. Um, it encourages reflections. So, engaging in self-checking can encourage individuals to reflect on actions and thoughts and processes. Um, can be empowering. Self-checking can give individuals a sense of control of their own progress and development. Provide immediate feedback. Self-checking can uh, provide immediate feedback on performance or progress. Can identify areas for improvement. So self-checking can help individuals identify areas where they can improve and start to address them. So yeah, those are like the pros. Um, the cons there may be may not be accurate. So this is when you're self-checking yourself and. You know, it might not be the, uh, it could be a bias, like not being transparent with yourself, like avoiding what's stopping you. It could be time consuming. So engaging in self-checking can be time consuming, especially if it involves in rever uh, reviewing or analyzing large amount of information. 
it can be demotivating if an individual does not achieve a desired outcome through self-checking it can be demor uh, demotivating and discourage them for like continuing to try uh, may not be objective so what does that mean is like like uh, so self-checking may not be objective due to personal bias or emotions um, can be stressful for an individual place a lot of pressure on themselves to achieve a certain standard or goal self-checking could be stressful or overwhelming it is important to weigh these potential pros and cons when deciding whether or not to engage in self-checking and to determine what approach may be best for the situation at hand so to determine what approach may be best for the situation at hand basically um, you know you need you need un so that's what self-checking basically is now I'm just trying to define what courage mean a courage is the ability or willingness uh, to confront fear pain danger or uncertainty or uh, yeah basically it involves in taking action or making decision in the face of a of a risk even when doing so may be difficult or uncomfortable courage is the often associated with bravery and determination and can manifest uh, in many contexts for personal and interpersonal situation to a professional uh, realms so basically um, let's say you, you you're not where you want to be and, but you're working hard and you're but you're not self checking yourself so you're not you know and the thing is like uh, you need courage so that's what courage is is the ability to confront fear pain danger and uh, to fight it basically to have the courage to uh, look beyond it and go out of your comfort zone and accept that it's not going to look like that so that's what courage takes to for self checking and, and and yeah, that's what I mean. You know, 